Welcome to Do It The Smart Way. Thank you for joining me. Today, we're going to look at the data export from our TPEM system. For this, you need a token level 50, a TPEM USB flash drive, the TPEM RC software on your laptop, and of course, a TPEM touch panel. And that's where we're going right now. With the data export function, you can download parameters, messages, and histories. First, I'll show you how the data export works on the touch panel. For this, you need your token with authorization level 50 or higher and a TPEM USB stick. After the system has loaded the sticks, we can press the data export button up here and select what we need. Messages, histories, parameters, for the system and for the engine. If connected, I can also select Emission Monitoring. Then I click Start Export. Down here in the window, Download Started is displayed. Here I can see the progress. Once the download is finished, the message Download Completed appears down here. Now I can hide the dialog and take my token and my TPEM stick to my laptop. I connect the sticks and start my TPEM RC desktop software. I enter my username and my password. Next, I go to File at the top left of the window and open my file manager. First, I need to save the data from my storage medium to the local PC. I click Data Export and see two files. First, I see the report file. This file contains ready-to-use PDF files, which I can open without my data viewer. But we don't need this file at the moment. We want the entire content. So I double-click the file and select a local storage location. I close my file manager and open my TPEM data viewer from the file menu at the top. I select the file I just saved. The file name shows the time and date. I click Open and then Start TPEM Data Viewer. Yep, the files have been loaded. Now I can have the following charts in the diagram. Long-term history, short-term history or the working cycle. I can specify the period for which I would like to see the data and which chart I would like to have. For example, the power output and the oil level. Down here, I click Draw History, and the program shows the chart. I can have messages displayed. I can also search for messages, alerts, and warnings. I can have the emission data displayed. The parameters are also very important. All parameters are stored here, and I can check which parameters have been set for what. So this is how the data analysis can be performed directly on the operating computer. Now I'd like to show you how this can be done via a remote desktop. Instead of exporting the data directly from the touch panel, this can also be done via remote access. For this, we first insert our sticks in the PC, open the TPEM RC desktop and select Access Mode under File. Here, I select Remote and enter my user credentials. The PC now connects to the system. A list of all available generator sets is displayed. I select the plant I would like to manage via Remote Access and click Connect. Here, I see the plant name. Next, I can take over the control. On my operating computer, a window pops up with the message, another user is controlling this system remotely. If you see the green status bar in your window, the connection has been successfully established. The operating computer is displayed on my PC. Again, I click Data Export. The data export can be performed as shown. You've seen two ways how the data can be exported. 
So now you know how the data export works. I hope it helps you with your analyses and troubleshooting. I'm looking forward to the next episode of Do It The Smart Way.